Hey everyone, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips and welcome to your first day with Serato DJ. Now, Serato is one of the pioneers of the digital vinyl system in the early 2000s, so it's not surprising that the software has undergone some changes through the years. So before we begin this tutorial, let me just walk you through the different kinds of Serato software available to you right now. First off, let's talk about Serato DJ. Serato DJ is the company's flagship program. It usually comes bundled with mid to high end controllers like the Pioneer DDJ SR, SX, and SZ, the Newmark NS72, and the Relu Terminal Mix 8. Okay, now let's talk about Serato DJ Intro. Serato DJ Intro is like the light version of Serato DJ. It usually comes bundled with less expensive controllers like the Pioneer DDJ SB, the Newmark Mix Track Edge, and the Relu Beat Mix 4. Now, Serato Scratch Live is the company's former flagship software. It has since been replaced by Serato DJ. Support for Serato Scratch Live will end by 2015, so it's recommended that you upgrade to Serato DJ. All right, now that we've gotten those out of the way, let's go ahead and install Serato DJ on your computer. Let's go ahead and download the latest installer of Serato DJ over at the Serato website. So I'm gonna open my browser here. I'm using Google Chrome. You may be using a different one. So go ahead and go to serato.com. All right, now that we're here, let's go to DJ products and click on Serato DJ. Head on over to downloads. Go and then click. Okay, I'll enter my email address. I'll use an existing one that I have. Com. Go. Just fill in my login details. Okay, so now my download has started. Let's just wait for it to finish. All right, now that the download has finished, we can go ahead and click on the installer and begin the installation process. So as you can see, it's over here on the lower left side of my screen. Um, you can click on this one if you want, or if you're in a Mac again, click on Finder, go to the Downloads folder, and scroll up. You're gonna see Serato DJ 1.6.3.dmg. If you're in a PC, you're gonna see something similar, but it says .zip at the end, so you have to unzip that and install. But anyway, let's go ahead and install this right now. Double click on that, click on agree. It's gonna verify the package, so just wait for that to finish. All right, cool. Now you're gonna see the screen over here. So click on the icon and drag it over to the applications folder. All right. <laughs> And that's it. If you want to verify, close this window, click on Applications, and scroll down. You're going to see Serato DJ. There you go. It's now installed on your computer. All right, now it's time to connect your DJ controller. Here's how to do it. Right now, I have a Pioneer DDJ SR, and we're going to hook it up to my Mac. So take the USB lead that came with your controller. All right. Plug the square end over here behind the controller and the other one at the back of your computer. Oops, other way around. There you go. All right, now that you've installed Serato DJ on your computer, it's time to create a My Serato account. You need to do this in order to activate your copy of Serato DJ on your machine. So let's go ahead again and go to the Finder window. There, go to my Applications folder. Scroll down and look for Serato DJ. Double click. Are you sure? Yep. Click open. Okay, so this is the main Serato DJ screen. Now, before you do anything, before you even start DJing or whatever, let's go ahead and create a My Serato account. Doing so lets you activate the product on your computer and lets you get add ons and other extras as well. So let's go ahead and go here to the My Serato button. Click it. And please be sure that you're online so you can access the site. Let's wait a little bit, okay? So let's enter our email address. Just put yours. Well, I'll put mine right now. So continue. Making a new account. So let's go. Okay. Create an account. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have my Pioneer DDJ SR connected here, and then I have Serato DJ activated as well. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at this My Products tab. Click on it. And I have an unactivated product, which is like a, a new effects pack called the Wolfpack Effects. So let's go ahead and click Activate. Okay, so that's it. Close this one. And you're ready to go. All right, now that we've installed the software, connected your controller, and created a MySerato account, it's time to get your music onto Serato DJ's library. All right, so there are three ways that you can get your music on your hard drive onto Serato's virtual decks. Let me show them to you one by one. The first one is through Serato's browser, which you can find here in the middle of the screen. This is all the audio that, and video that Serato recognizes on your hard drive. So, you know, you can just click and drag them as you would normally. Okay, so another way to do it is to get your music from iTunes. So let's go ahead and open our iTunes over here. All right, so this is my iTunes library. I don't have much right now because it's a pretty new, it's a new Mac, so you know, um, I don't have a lot. But anyway, it's gonna be good for the demo. So like right now, I have all these tracks. And let's say I wanna make a playlist. So I'll go ahead and make a playlist here, call it Little DJ Tips, and let's say that you know, these tracks that I bought from Beatport, I'm going to use them. So let's go ahead and drag them to the Digital DJ Tips playlist. Click, and as you can see, they're here. And now let's go to Serato DJ. Okay, so let's go over to this icon over here. This is the iTunes library icon, so click on it. And there you go. This is our playlist that we made earlier. Click it and you can get a track here and just drag it on over as you normally would. And there you go. Now, apart from using Serato DJ's browser and using the iTunes library, you can also drag and drop files from the Finder window or Windows Explorer. So just go ahead and click your downloads folder and you just drag it on over to the deck. And that's it. <laughs> All right, as a little bonus, I'm going to show you how you can enable Serato Video so you can try out VJ. Okay, let me show you really quickly how you can enable Serato Video within Serato DJ. So first off, open the setup menu by clicking on this button on the upper right. Head on over to Expansion Packs and make sure Serato Video is highlighted. And then take this box called Enable Serato Video. There you go. This menu under appears. Don't click buy now, just go ahead and click on demo. Now doing that will produce this little square box that says Serato video output and demo mode. So whenever you're playing visuals, it displays on this little box over here. Let's go ahead and download some visuals now. So let's open Google Chrome, my browser, and then scroll to the bottom of the article. Let's just close this one real quick. Bottom of the article, there's something here called the I Love QC website. So go ahead and click that. This will take you to this page, which has uh, exclusive visuals for Serato DJ users. So go ahead and download it. All right, now that's done. Click it. So here I have the five visuals that you can use with Serato Video. So let's go back to Serato DJ. Close the setup menu. Okay, we're back here in the main interface. Let's enable video over here in the upper left. Click it. All right. And then, as you can see, under the virtual decks, you have these three extra black boxes. Uh, uh, these are the places where the visuals can be put while you're playing. So, you know, um, you can choose whatever you want to display. So let's go ahead and drag the song first. We have a track there. And then now, let's drag a visual over here to the box on the lower left. Let's try Ice Lines. Okay, now that's done. Let's go ahead and play it, see what happens. And there you go. You have your visuals coming out now. That's all there is to it. All right guys, that's all the time we have for this video. I hope it helped you get quickly up to speed with Serato DJ. I recommend that you check out the full training article over at the Digital DJ Tips website. Again, I'm Joey. Thanks for watching.